At the University of Virginia, a team of interdisciplinary students have been working to develop a mixed reality simulator for medical training purposes. Drawing from the fields of mechanical, biomedical, and systems engineering, as well as computer science, we hope to improve upon existing virtual reality training tools. These goals included developing a mobile device to deliver feedback to the fingertips, tracking the position of the fingers and hand, integrating force delivery and position sensing with a 3D virtual environment, and assessing the user's performance in the simulation. The glove prototype was designed in Autodesk Inventor and uses ABS thermoplastic to encase the hardware. We chose to use five flex sensors provided by SparkFun that attach along each finger. Each act as variable resistors to track finger flexion. Their values are recorded by the Arduino microcontroller, which converts each bend reading to a byte as it is sent across the serial port. Also on the glove is a detachable mount for the flock of birds sensor. This device uses pulsed DC magnet technology to track absolute position and orientation of the hand in space. Our first experiment demonstrated the ability of the flock of birds to track the position of the hand. Each subject was asked to complete a pattern in the shortest amount of time by touching 12 identically sized spheres. The second experiment demonstrated the ability of the flex sensors to accurately portray finger flexion by asking the subject to perform nine common hand signs in the shortest amount of time. Our second goal of this project, tactile feedback, as a deeper layer of immersion by bridging physical stimuli with virtual experience. Three common forms of tactile feedback, light touch, vibration, and constriction, were investigated. Our first method of delivering haptic feedback uses electroactive polymers. These thin polymers bend when a low amperage, high voltage charge is applied. When a collision is detected in our virtual environment, a computer-controlled digital function generator powers a high voltage amplifier supplied by Trek Instruments that actuates the polymer within the glove. This is an example of the polymer actuated with the DC voltages shown. This is an example of the polymer held at a constant voltage and varying the frequency. The polymer is encased by a custom-designed thimble in which the index finger is placed to receive a range of vibrational feedback. To test tactile feedback, we had the subjects touch five virtual spheres that deliver varying feedback and asked them to rank the objects in order of increasing frequency. Our second form of haptic feedback uses DC motors to generate fingertip constriction. Upon contact with a virtual object, two micro DC motors cinch a wire attached to a rubber thimble covering the finger. By varying the motor speed, different levels of constriction can be experienced. Here, the subjects ranked the objects in order of increasing constriction. In addition to designing a haptic glove, we've integrated our tactile feedback devices with kinesthetic feedback devices on the market today, such as the Phantom Omni. This combination is able to both restrict hand movement as well as deliver precise tactile cues to the skin. We designed a glove effective at tracking absolute position and orientation, as well as the relative bending of the fingers. We were also able to deliver haptic feedback to the fingertips to further immerse the user in a virtual environment. There are many future applications of our glove, including medical training, augmented reality, military, and communications. Take the leap into virtual reality.